Good morning guys and welcome back to another one. I'm Larry, this is Two Creeks Outdoors and we got a few things on the go today. But first, I got a confession to make. I think I might have an addiction. An addiction to Facebook Marketplace. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all remember what I said about wants and needs? So that's why I got to stay off Facebook Marketplace. Jenny's in the garden here because we got tomatoes. Let's just say we got tomatoes. Have a look. Yeah. All right, one thing I can tell you about buying vegetable plants. The little card that comes with them that tells you what they are, as for example, the different types of tomatoes. Do not always trust them because we thought we were getting a bunch of beef steaks. We got way more cherry tomatoes than we did beef steaks because we trusted the labels. But we are going to be freezing a whole bunch of tomatoes. So yeah, we, we always have lots of tomatoes. The other thing we learned is don't plant them all at once. Plant them a week or two weeks apart. That way they don't all come into season at the same time. Then you're bombarded with vegetables. Learn as you go. So I planted one pepper plant. I want a hot pepper so I got the habaneros. This is the first one that's ready. It looks like there's probably 15 more on this one plant. All right, I'm more bought. Grass cut. I'm almost out of breath. Jesus, Murphy. Uh, now, we've had a major break in the weather here. It's been like mid 35s for over a week. Probably close to a week and a half, or maybe almost two weeks. And it's been hot. Today it's like 23 degrees, so pretty much the perfect weather for her to be working in the garden don't tell her I said that anyway the smart shopper that she is so those of you that are in Canada you will know of this place but for my American friends and other friends around the world we have a store here called shoppers drug mart she accumulates points which can be used to purchase whatever you want so we are going to shoppers drug mart here right shortly with 300,000 points which I believe gets you almost $300 worth of products for free. It just costs you points. So, as soon as she's done in the garden, we're going to load up Ella, lock up the dogs, and head over to Shoppers Drug Mart and spend some points. All right, so this is part of today's harvest. We got some peppers, we got some beans, small tomatoes, big tomatoes. Haven't seen any beef steaks yet, but they're supposedly in there. Remember what I said about taking what them cards say at face value, they're not always right. All right, so the internet's kind of a wonderful thing in this aspect. So we had a couple of onions in the basement that were sprouting. Normally we would just throw them in the garbage. Watching a couple channels, they say, plant them. We're about to go look. These have been planted for how long now? Three weeks? Maybe. Maybe about three weeks. We're just gonna pull it up, see what it looks like. I might have to put it back in and bury it again, but. Rather than throw it away, we'll see if we got more onions. When you take them back out, I've never... So what is it supposed to be? Another onion. In here? Oh, yeah, they're growing, but they're not big enough yet. All right. All right, so I don't have any video to show you, but on the side of the onions that were sprouting in the basement was a small sprout. And I took the small sprouts and planted them, and this is kind of where we're at. So it's growing, but it's taking its time growing. We're gonna plant this back in there because we didn't break any roots off. You see the roots are still growing here. We'll check it in a few weeks, but. So you see the green on the onions are pretty tall. I'm just talking to Jen here. I'm thinking that when we planted those, they were probably only a two or three inch sprout. So it's coming. Just don't know how long it takes. All right, like I said, we're gonna be here at Shoppers. We're gonna spend some points, get as much as we can for free. All right, Ella? Yep. Right, Jenny? She's just enthusiastically excited beyond belief. <laughs> Trust me. Anyway, I'm gonna switch over to my phone because they might frown on this camera being in there. So, see you in a minute. Shelves are looking a little bare. So 
So with the accumulation of points, this whole cart is free. All right, so we end up spending $322. $22 was the tax. We spent $300. All we had to pay for was the tax. So all that food for 22 bucks. That's because she's a frugal shopper or smart shopper. Yes, we like the word smart, not frugal. Smart, not frugal. Frugal makes me We'll go like smart, not frugal. It's like shaken, not stirred. All right, guys, like I said, that's a pretty good deal. We got $300 worth of food and essentials for $22, which was, like I said, was a tax. Now, Jen, she's uh, pretty thrifty when it comes to that. She goes there and shops a lot because she gets points. At uh, Christmas time, same thing, always got points. And uh, you can actually get quite a bit doing that. So, we got the food dropped off at home. It was supposed to be date night, redneck date night. Uh, I stopped off at the outlaws, cut down some branches off some trees that were getting onto the shingles. We're gonna carry on with date night. But, Jen didn't wanna come. So my date tonight is... I'm not your date. Oh, I just got denied by my own kid. Ella and I are on our way to the racetrack to watch some dirt racing. And we just passed one of the cars. Now, Ella's never been to a racetrack before, so this is her first time. I've only uh, seen the racetrack, but not when not when the cars are racing. Okay. So, I've been there many times and used to partake quite a bit when I was younger and had a mullet. That was many, many years ago. So we are now heading to the Speedway and hope you'll join us.